Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Average, and today we're gonna be doing another programming tutorial video. I'm hoping to make this one a series because this is about a technology that I'm actually really excited about and really excited to kind of show off because I think it has a lot of potential. It's really, really fun to work with in my opinion. And the name of the game today is Full Stack Web Development. Uh, and so we're gonna be using a framework called Nuxt.js. So in this series, I'm gonna take you from absolute beginner all the way to being able to create your own fully fledged websites. So to give you an idea of what Nux.js is, it's a full stack framework, meaning it does both back end and front end, and it's built on top of Vue.js. For those of you who don't know, Vue is a reactive front end framework. And so Nuxt takes Vue and builds on top of it, adding things like file based routing, server side rendering, you can do API endpoints. In my opinion, it's a very seamless full stack work flow. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is I have Visual Studio code opened up in a workspace. So I'm just in this folder called Nux Tutorials. Do the same thing. Open a folder. Let's open up our terminals and we're going to enter the following command npm create Nux at latest. Make sure you do have Node.js and npm installed. Obviously, that is a requirement as Nux is built on Node.js. So press enter. It shouldn't take too long until you're greeted with this kind of um, message. Where would you like to create your project? Now, I usually just do it in the relative path of my directory here, which would be Nux Tutorials. If you wanna put it in another folder, feel free to do so, but we're just gonna press enter for now so it goes in the folder that we're in. Okay, so we're gonna select NPM for a package manager. If you do use any of the others, you can select that as well, but I am going to use NPM for this tutorial as it is the probably the most commonly used one. So it's going to install the dependencies now. All right, and it will ask us if we want to initialize a Git repository. I always say yes, because I put all my stuff on GitHub and I just think uh, having source control or version control is a really good idea. You don't need it, but I would suggest that you say yes. And would you like to install any of the official mod modules? We're gonna say no to this, but this is a really quick way to initialize any Nuxt modules that you may want in the future. But for the sake of today's video, we're gonna say no. Okay, and now we have our app right here in a Nuxt app folder. And you can see we have all of our files for our Nuxt app. And we're gonna get into this in a moment here, but to actually start up our site we can just go cd nuxt app. Now we're in that directory and we can say npm run dev, which will run the dev script uh, in our package.json right here. So that would actually just be nuxt dev. Our site will open up. It will tell you what the URL is, which is localhost 3000. So let's just control click that and it should open up in a new browser window and you'll get something that looks exactly like this. Now this is the default nuxt welcome page. If we go into our app and then app.view, we can get rid of this right here, nuxt welcome. And you'll see that we have live reloads and we just get this blank white page now. So that's gonna be the end of the first part of this series, installing Nux.js. It's very simple, very easy, and now we have our web server up and we can visit it at port 3000. Stay tuned for the next video where we talk about getting something displayed here.